Hi. In this video, we're going to highlight some of the things we dislike about the LG Cord Zero A9 compressor stick vacuum. Some other cordless units allow you to carry a couple of tools with you while you're vacuuming, and that can be really handy. We've got our Dyson V11 here. It comes with something called a wand storage clip, and you can attach a couple of tools, as you can see here. So when you're off vacuuming, you've got those tools with you. There is no such system with the LG. The vacuum has three power modes, low, medium, and max. Now LG is calling the max power mode turbo. Now we did some runtime tests and in turbo power mode, we got about seven minutes and 20 seconds per battery. So that's a little bit low. I mean, of course you've got two batteries with this unit, so you'll get maybe 14 minutes and 40 seconds, but still seven minutes, 20 seconds per battery seems a little low. Perhaps that's why they make it a little bit difficult to get into turbo power mode. We do like that the unit comes with a stand. It works well, it's fairly robust and solid. Um, now when you buy this vacuum cleaner, you will get three tools and a cleaning brush. You can see here on the stand, we've got room to hold two tools and the cleaning brush. This is the third tool. Unfortunately, it will not store anywhere on the stand. It'll have to sit in a box or in a cupboard somewhere. So if you need it, you'll have to go get it. We have a number of cordless vacuums from different manufacturers. Now, we find some of them have a tendency to kind of skate a little bit on our low pile carpet. And when I say skate, it means when you try to turn, they tend to continue to snow plow a little bit forward. The LG, unfortunately, is a little bit like this. We find the Dysons don't do that very much. Now, I'm just going to turn this guy on and try and show you what I mean. Okay. So when I'm turning, you'll see it still has a lot of forward motion. And, you know, if you're turning kind of casually or just a little bit, maybe it doesn't matter so much. You can steer it by pulling it back and kind of redirecting it because the unit is fairly light. But it does feel almost a little bit slippery on this kind of surface. We find the dust canister on this unit to be a little bit small. Now, this is the handheld unit and it is fairly compact itself. So of course it has a smallish dust canister, but there's also something inside of here called the cyclonic mesh filter and it takes up a lot of space. Now, I'm gonna open up this dust canister door so we can take a look at that. And this just twists out for easy cleaning. Now, this is a pretty big piece, and you can see when it's inside of here, it chews up a lot of space. Now, they do have, um, on the back side of this thing, there is this uh, compressor lever. And you can see how that works. Now, that helps. It does help in, you know, compacting debris and um, creating a little bit more space in the dust canister. But still, we found ourselves having to empty this guy a fair bit. We performed some noise level tests using this digital noise level meter. Now, we placed it three feet in front of the cleaner head of each one of these machines and turned the vacuums on. Now, the LG isn't particularly loud in uh, low and medium modes. It's, it's about average, but in turbo mode, it is a little bit loud. Um, we find the Rocket Pro, the Shark Rocket Pro here to be a fairly loud cordless, and the LG is just a little bit behind that. So we'd say it's kind of loud in turbo power mode. Interestingly, the machine at the end, which is the uh, Tinoco Pure One S12, that's the quietest of the bunch. As mentioned previously, the unit has three power modes, essentially low, medium, and max. Now, the thing is we find low power mode to be just a little too low. It doesn't have enough power and suction, at least not for us, so we always run the machine in medium power mode. Now, if you read the materials about this unit, you know, it'll get uh, 80 minutes of runtime. Well, that is true, because we did some tests. We got, I think, 79 minutes and 20 seconds, something like that. Um, but that's, of course, in low power mode, and we never run it in that mode. In medium power mode, we got something like 46 and a half minutes, so you need to consider that maybe that's really the runtime you're probably going to get with this unit. So those are some of the things we dislike about this vacuum cleaner. Now, there are some things we really do like about this machine, and you can see those in our video entitled What We Love About the LG Cord Zero A9 Vacuum. Thanks very much for watching.